I've been here 40 years and that tree was there when I moved here. A fallen tree. That's just part of the damage Sheila Smith is taking in at her house on Oak Ridge Street in Hardin County. While crews work throughout her neighborhood to clean up the mess after a storm residents call unexpected. It just got pitch dark. Smith woke up this morning and couldn't believe what she saw outside her window. And all of a sudden the wind just started blowing and I saw limbs just flying past my house and I heard the tree fall on my house and my fence is down. It's, it's bad back here. Damage caused by thunderstorm straight line winds that reached anywhere between 60 to 70 miles an hour. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes and it, it cleared up and and it was still raining, but uh, then, you know, we got out and I saw the damage and uh, everything. Down power lines wrapped around broken tree limbs visible on many streets in this neighborhood. Just a, a lot of damage. Uh, they're saying that we probably won't have electricity till this afternoon. And for some, perhaps longer. They're saying anywhere from two hours for the front half, maybe as long as 24 hours in the back half. Lumberton Fire Chief Robert Simpson was one of the first to arrive at the scene. On our right, we found a significant amount of damage. Light wires down um, in the Peck Cooks Lake area between where Peck circles around what we lovingly refer to as Peck 1 and Peck 2. A dangerous situation keeping many away from their homes for a couple of hours. I'd recommend that if you didn't need to be here without power, you know, you, you find alternate means. But if you want to, you're more than welcome to return and come back to your property. Just let everybody know it could be up to 24 hours before power is totally returned to everybody. The damage? Repairable. Smith says she's just thankful it wasn't anything worse. In Hardin County, Sarai Demean, KFDM 6 News.